He's the tallest player in the NBA at 7 feet 7 inches. Philadelphia's shot-blocking specialist, Manute Bowl, came to the United States from the African country of the Sudan. His name means special blessing, and to his people, that's exactly what he has been. But right now in Sudan, it's, uh, it's really dry back there, and a lot of people are dying right now because hungry and the, uh, no water, no food. And so what I've tried to do, I've been doing, you know, send some money to my people and help them out because I love my country and I want to help my people. I feel bad what's going on there and sometimes I think about that. I say, if I didn't come to America right now, I, want, I might be one of these guys, maybe I might be dead by this time. Manute took his cause to the American people by speaking at the nation's capital about the famine in his country. What's going on back then in Sudan, people were dying back there without no food. I don't think that a lot of people in America know, you know, what's going on there. I decided to talk to other people and let people watch it in the news and whatever, you know, somebody can see it in the paper, you know, we'll read about it and maybe some people might help. One person who did help was former Washington Bullet teammate Bernard King, who read about Manute's plight. Having played with Sunil in the past, I wanted to come in here and, and support what he was doing and also support the, the hunger relief after America's involved. It was uh, something I want to be here to lend my support. Somebody told me outside Bernard King is here. I said, no way. What are you doing here? It's mean a lot to me, you know. It's mean a lot to me. Love it. I almost cried because it's not a lot of people would do that, you know, and a lot of people read about it, but they don't, you know, who cares? Manute has given over $300,000 of his $1.3 million salary to help his homeland. If I make $3 million or $5 million a year, it would not be enough anyway for my country to help them, you know. With the weight of the problems of the Sudan on his mind, Manute has tried to keep a positive outlook, and he receives a lot of help from his teammates. Charles Barkley and Rick Mahon, they are the funny basketball players in the, in the world. They are. We call him ugly all the time. He has to have a good sense of humor if he looks like that. He's done a good job of keeping his mind on basketball. Manute has found success for himself in the NBA, and he is looked up to by children in America as well as in his homeland. If granted one wish, Manute would color it green. Win $300 million lottery, give it to the homeless. <laughs>